Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module eight, lesson five. I'm gonna start off by going over the I can objective. It says I can find the product of fractions using an area model. And the learning objective is to multiply fractions using an area model. The prior learning is that students represented the fraction a over b as the product of a and one over b. Students use the understanding that a multiple of a over b is a multiple of one over b to multiply a fraction by a whole number, and students multiplied fractions by whole numbers using visual models and equations. All right, so jumping into the lesson on page 199, we have a word problem that says a contractor buys rectangular floor tiles for a home that he is building. How can you find the area of the tile? Use the square to help you find the area of the tile. Explain your reasoning. Okay, so the tile that we have is three-fourths of a foot by one-third of a foot. So what I want to do on my one-by-one one is I want to break it up into sections, and then I'm going to color the section that's chosen. So I'm going to color code this and I'm going to have my length be blue. So that's going to show us my three fourths and green is going to be my width. It's going to be my one third. So for my length, I'm going to cut it into fourths and then shade three of those fourths. So if I cut it in half here and here lengthwise, now I have four sections. I would then color in one, two, and three of those sections. And you know, I'm, I kind of lost my line, so I'm just gonna make these black so we can see it a little bit clearer. Okay, now for my one third, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it three times the other way. So this way I'm gonna be cutting it one, two, and three. And then I'm gonna be coloring in just one of the sections going this way. Now what I'm looking for is how many squares are there total? Well, I have three by four, so I have 12 total squares available. That's my denominator, how many are available? Then how many are chosen? And this part is how many are chosen by both colors. So how many squares are both blue and green? Well, if we look here and I'll circle them in red, the blue and green only overlap with these three squares. So what I would say is that my numerator is going to be three. So I know that three fourths times one third, if I were to multiply it out, would be three twelfths because three times one is three and four times three is twelve. All right. But this is a visual way of why this works. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page to 200. It says to tile a different room, the tile shown at the right is used. So now we have two thirds by three fourths of a foot. And we're gonna do the same thing drawing with a one by one. Then we have two questions, A and B. A says, how can you use your area model to find the area of the tile? And then B, what is the area of the tile? Write a multiplication equation to model the problem. All right, so I want you to go ahead and try these three problems and then come back so we can work on it together. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, let's go ahead and work on these together. So again, I'm gonna be using blue for my two thirds and green for my three fourths but I am gonna mark it up with a black just so we can see it a little bit better. So for my two thirds, I am gonna break it up into thirds here, and then I am gonna color two of the thirds for my two thirds. Then going the other way, I'm gonna be splitting it into fourths. So if I cut it in half, then cut this half, then cut that in half. So now I have four, not totally equal, but it works for this problem. And then for the green, I would be I would be coloring three of the four lengths. All right, so now I have again, how many total squares do I have available? I have 12 available again, because I have three going one way, four going the other way, and I know that three times four is gonna be 12 total. 
Now, how many total squares are colored by both? I have three in this column and three in the other column, so I know I have six total that are blue and green. So I have six out of 12, or if you wanted to simplify, you would know that this was gonna be the same as half. All right, so for A, how can you use your area model to find the area of the tile? Well, essentially all I'm gonna be doing is I'm making three columns and four rows, and then I'm shading the cho the, I'm shading the numerator. I'm shading the numerator and then I'm looking for what's shaded twice or is overlapped in shading. And then for B, what is the area of the tile? Well, we found that the area of the tile was either six twelfths or one half. And then the multiplication equation that we have is we want to multiply the two numbers times each other. So I have my two thirds times, because I know area is length times width, so two thirds times my three fourths. And with multiplication, all we're doing is just multiplying straight across the numerator and then straight across the denominator. So two times three is six, and then three times four is 12. And there comes my six twelfths. And again, if you want to simplify, which you should be doing, you are going to be getting half. And again, just to be perfectly clear, this would be in feet. And we always want our units in there. All right, that is it for this lesson. Go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems and I will see you back for module eight, lesson six.